I'm going to make an inside out turning and it's going to be for Valentine's and that's coming up real soon so I hope I have enough time to get this done and finished. I'm going to use walnut. These are about an inch and three quarter square and about five inches long. I have them taped. I have paper and glue joints on the ends of it and I also hot glued these pieces of plywood on there and at the drive center it actually fits right into there so that's a little more security all the way around I'm hoping I have enough to do this but just in case I'm going to start low and then I'll move it forward once I see how much room I have I'm going to see if I can cut this with a parting tool and we're doing about a thousand RPMs Alright, so that's a start. I'll cut some of this out to give myself a little relief and we'll go some more. I have a half inch bowl gouge. this way a little bit. I have a little chip here and it's plenty long. Okay, I'm going to try to get in here with my small hollowing tool now. Okay, I think I'm getting pretty close. I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit more off of this area. If you can see that, that's what we're looking for. We just about have it. I think we're about ready to sand. Let me get all set up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and sand it. I'll start with 80 grit and I'll probably stop it uh, 220 or 240. Then I'll take it apart, glue them together in halves, and then at that point I'll just wipe on my finish on those halves. The main reason I want to do it this way is I'd like to get it glued tonight and be able to finish it tomorrow. So I'll be sanding in reverse at about 400 RPMs. Get my face mask on and we'll get going. Okay, that's actually not going to be too hard. Probably dress these up like that. So I'll get these glued together and some finish on it, and I'll see you when it's time to glue them together in one big block. So be sure you watch to the end, and I'll let you know how you can see my method of flipping these blocks around and gluing them back together. Also, 
Let me know if you're interested in the bonus video I talk about. So I'll let that sit for a while. I'll put some clamps on it and tomorrow morning or afternoon I'll get it all finished up. Okay so what I'll do now is put it back between centers I'm going to rough turn this round just enough so I can put a tenon on this end because I will need it before we're done. Alright, I'm going to run this about 900 RPMs and just rough it down to close to a round. Get it on the chuck as soon as I can. Okay, I put a mark on that side about the diameter that I need. Use the parting tool and get it down there and then check it. Okay, it's in the chuck now, so we'll go ahead and round it up and start working down to a shape. to a spindle gouge here. That's pretty cool. Okay, I think that's getting pretty close. Plus where the inside meets up, I don't trust going much smaller than that. Okay, I need to refine some of these little areas and then uh, pull this out of the way. Finish that and sand it. Well, let's do that. Okay, now I'm going to clean up this area where I had the live center.
right now it's time to sand it. And I'm going to start with 120 grit and I'll sand it in reverse. I'll work my way up to 400. And when we come back, I'll get a finish on it and part it off. And then I'll go over it like this after doing it under power. So I'll see you pretty soon and we'll probably spray some lacquer on it. Okay, it's time to spray some finish on it. And I'm going to use what's been my favorite finish for years. It's a deft. I'm not connected with them. I don't get anything for saying that. I've just been using deft since I was in high school. So you kind of get addicted to something. So we're just going to turn it pretty slow in low range and spray it on. Well here's my finished Valentine present. It's made out of a beautiful piece of walnut and it has four hearts in it. I decided to go ahead and drill a hole up through here and I'm searching for some small enough LED lights that will go up in here and also be fairly bright. I went ahead and made a, I guess I'd say it's a lid for the bottom, just in case I find one that I can push farther up, then I can use this little bottom to help shim it up. I can add pieces to that. Finished four and a half inches tall, it's three and a half inches in diameter. I ended up spraying the outside with lacquer and I had put some sanding sealer on the inside and I think that looks just fine. This was a real rush job, which after I retired I figured there's no such thing as a rush job. But I wanted to get this done and I really didn't have time to show you how I flipped these blocks around to make it that way, but I have two videos where I show it exactly how you flip the blocks around. Also, I'm thinking of making a video to show you how to how I make a very, very simple inside out turning and get the shape that you have in mind. If you're interested in that, maybe I'll make one of those. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. I enjoy reading them all. Thank you to all my current subscribers. It really means a lot to me. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. I do videos weekly. If you click that share button, you can share it with all your friends on social media. That would be great. It really helps the channel grow. Thanks again, and until the next time, see you later.